there, Cappies. This is Lana, the Comedian Medium. Lana's Enchanted Sky. Welcome. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading, hypnosis, or whatever I do. Please visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading. Um, you can also visit all my other things. My blog is on there, and that's TheWiseWomanSage.com. Um, you can also visit... Um, I am teaching classes. I'm offering one in January. There's only 10 spots available. Um, it's on psychometry, the art of reading objects. I can show you in 20 minutes. It, it is not hard. You can do it. And every person that's ever taken my classes has learned how to do it. So if you, everything has energy. You're reading energy off it, an item. So, and yes, most 95% of everybody that takes the class, I would say 98% have learned something that they're using and it helps them. So um, I'm not expensive. I'm only charging 40 bucks for a half for an hour. So, and there's only 10 people available. So check that out. All right. Um, Metaphysical Meanderings is my podcast. I had oh, oh, nearly 500,000 people watching me last Saturday live. So I'm getting really busy, which is good. And I'm very humbled and I am in shock <laughs> so that it's taken off like this. So I hope that it keeps doing that. Um, I also belong to Patreon. Patreon is um, for a couple bucks of donation a month. You can get all kinds of things from me. I'm going to be offering coupons through Patreon. So um, if you get a chance, check that out for me. Um, it's Lana's Enchanted Sky. Okay. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> okay. But here's the joke. It's got, it's clean and it's stale, but you know, they gotta be clean. Okay. Um, did you hear about the, uh, about somebody making a restaurant on the moon? It'll have great food, but it has no atmosphere. <laughs> Okay, now remember I'm a Capricorn rising, so um, it's hard to read, to read myself, but we'll see what we get, us caps. Now I wouldn't be surprised, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if my Sag and Cap reading are close because you're only one side apart, but also because of that cusp thing. And I am also a Sag sun, cusp, Capricorn, and a cusp rise and a Capricorn rising. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're very similar and they look like the cards are similar. And if you're like, well, so, and I'm like, but, but I shuffle and shuffle. I mean, I don't, I'll never understand quite what goes into these. I think they're psychological. I don't think that there are any magic to them. I think that's what's going on. And it just is, a, it reflects back to you. And I, that's, yeah. So now, just, it's very similar Sag, so check Sag out, you guys. Um, you have a decision to make, and it has something to do with a sword. It has to do with a man in power, okay? It is a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or just a man in power, a doctor, a surgeon, a lawyer, a judge, the government. There's something going on here, okay? And there's a decision that needs to be made. You've been wounded and you're guarded right now. Coming into February, you're like something. You're, you're trying to recover from some crap that's gone on. And you, you're willing to work hard. You've never, you know, Capricorns are hard workers. That's the one, one of the, we're probably the hardest workers of the, of the Zodiac. We, because we are down to earth. We're earth signs. We get it. And they're telling you to, to tiptoe around something, to watch something. Um, Something might be a little, somebody might be trying to take something from you or you're taking from something from somebody. But also, this card represents tiptoeing around something, trying to get through something. All right. So now you're making plans. You've achieved quite a bit, but you're waiting for that ship to come in. And so you're waiting for something to happen. And and in the month of February, you are juggling time and money. All right. There's, there's a month, time and money. Now, You've got to, here, this is interesting. This is interesting. The Queen of Wands is a fire sign. Remember I told you there were fire signs involved? Now this could be also the woman of your dreams, the person of your dreams, the extremely, extremely um, 
how do I say this? An extremely capable person, I guess I could say, okay, um, that comes into your life that offers support. There's somebody coming. I, I And it's, you know, it's, this person's creative and they're artsy and they love the outside. They all, you know, they're a fire sign. They're raring to go and they're wanting to help. Okay. Now, you're, you're working on something. You're working on a new business. Um, you could be working on a promotion. Could even be working on your house a little bit too. And you're walking away. See, this is, um, this area is where the, here it is your surroundings. It's your family, your friends, even your enemies, your job, everything that's in your surroundings and you're walking away and there's, and you've won the battle, but haven't won the war yet though also. But somebody's, somebody's walking, somebody's, you got the upper hand, but you might be walking too. Could be a couple of things there. And you're scared to death. I'm gonna be honest with you, you're scared to death. And this this card is interesting because this is the down and out card. It left out the cold. And it never, it, it, it's more of a fear of it. There's two cards like this. One is the one where you're up at night and you're worried at night, never manifest. This one also. Very rarely have I seen it actually ant manifest. Every once in a while, but mostly 95% of this is a fear of it, okay? Now, your hopes, your fears, your dreams are, you're hoping that everything just flows okay and temperance means nothing real extreme. So that's what you're hoping for. Now, they're reminding you, the other side, or your, psych, your, your mind, see, that's what I believe, it's a combination of all that, that... You have all your talents. You have all the talents you need to be successful in what you're trying to do in this month, financially and in your career. And the magician, notice, has an eight above them. And that's the infinity sign of power. That, that they, whatever, whichever way they cho choose to go, they will be successful. All right? Now, the high priestess is the same thing in, in, in Sagittarius. It's the same out, same card, the same place, is that there's something hidden. Something's not been revealed to you yet. Now, I still say the third week or so of February, I could be off a week or two. Time's fluid, but I say we're getting another check here in the United States. There's more money coming. And not saying that my other countries, the other countries might be coming into some money also, but I know for a fact that that's, there's something hidden, okay? Now, <clears throat> we're getting justice. I love this card. Fair, it's, it's fair, it's honest, and it's in your favor. So something is going on in your favor through the month of February. Now I'm gonna pull Moonology cards because the Moonology cards, are important. Now, I shuffled really good, and it looks like it's almost the same cards as Sag again. Because um, you have to bring love into this situation. You got to love what you do. You know, hating what you do is a negative emotion. Love, this has to do with the age of Aquarius. We're all doing the same thing, guys, collectively. We're all going, you know what? Light, money isn't worth it. I want to love what I do. I'm sick and tired of this. I'm sick and tired of that. It's got to go. And that's kind of what's going on, okay? Um, nothing will come out of this situation means nothing bad's gonna happen. So just just ride it, just just wait, just make your decisions. Whatever, whatever's gonna happen, it's in your favor. Remember that. Okay? The end of a tough cycle approaches. Is it gonna get easier now? Are things gonna get easier for you? Step out of your comfort zone. That's <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's easier said than done, isn't it? Okay, that's it. And, and when you step out of your comfort zone, you get unstuck because I feel like there's some stuckness involved trying to get unstuck right now. All right. And don't let past failures hold you back. Don't let what people say to you, oh, you will never be able to do it, blah, blah, blah. 
Don't, 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 don't listen to any of that because it's not true. This is the one time where they're telling you that you do have the talent, the ability, the drive, the determination, the everything, okay? Blessings to you. Sometimes my phone goes off, sorry. <laughs> I won't even edit that, okay? Um, blessings, and I will be coming back with your financial reading um, real soon. Everybody take care and keep watching. Metaphysical meanderings too. Bye-bye.